Pete is hot tonight. Face right. Face left. Fade away. Oh, that's an air ball. Is that how they teach you to play in med school, Dr. P? Whatever, I should get some points for style. Oh, I thought you were just warming off. Yeah. It feels good to be playing like this. What? Badly? No. Just playing. You know, with the family and everything, it's been so hectic. Mm -hmm. Spending all your free time obsessing over Brittany. I'm not obsessing, filthy. The way you drag yourself around in her shadow is one step short of stalking, my friend. If I were her, I would have got a court order long ago. Whatever, man. Get out of here. Look, I'm not blaming you. I mean, she's a fox. But you need a tune-up. What do you mean? I should change my hair or something? For starters. And uh, your clothes and your breath. Yo, you should talk, man. <laughs> Am I the one chasing the queen of babes? So what you're basically saying is that if I wanted to get closer to Britney, I shouldn't be myself. Exactly. See, nobody wants to tell the truth, except Filthy. And uh, the fact that you're a good artist or a mediocre guitar player, none of that matters. First time you meet her, she's going to judge you on how fresh you are. And if you make the grade, you're in like Flint. On the other hand, uh, if you show up in that shirt, you may as well not get out of the car. <sighs> Uh, one of the things. Oh, yeah, what's that? Yeah. Oh, 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 ah, ah, ow. Hey, Alex. It's almost noon. Ash is going to be here any second. Alex? What did you do to your hair? Nothing. I was just trying something new. Something new? Not trying to impress anyone, are you? Brittany Collier, maybe? Yeah, Brittany Collier has nothing to do with this, okay? It's just, uh... Well, maybe she does a little bit. <laughs> How do I look? <clears throat> well, I don't think the hairstyle will matter. Not with that major zit growing on your chin. Alex, I was kidding. I was kidding. You know, there's nothing wrong with a guy taking a little pride in his personal appearance, okay? Sure. Absolutely. Vanity, thy name is Alex. You know what? I found it. After your father disappeared, I really didn't think I needed it again. Jumping Jupiter. What happened to you, boy? You feel like you've been in a fight. Yeah, uh, something like that. Well, isn't that the program Dad gave you? The myth chart. A map of the connection between all known world myths. Family trees of the gods. Mythical figures and their cross-cultural counterparts. From the Egyptians, Amun, to the Greek Zeus, to the Romans, Jupiter, and uh, so on. Your father gave it to me to fill out before introducing it into his system. Are you really sure this is going to help find the Gorgas stone? Well, Dad thought it would, and that's the important thing. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's try it out. Mm, it's fantastic. It never ceases to amaze me. It's like it's alive. Well, we think it is, in a way. Something about the stone being inside it. Which leads to our next question. What will happen if another myth-based program is introduced to the system? Judging so far, nothing has been predictable, so there's only one way to find out. Load from CD, myth chart. Enter Cyber Museum. What's that? You tell me. Is that Dad's charting program? Not anymore. Right now, I don't know what it is. Amazing. The shape is similar to the one we created, but there's so much more detail. You see here, each of these icons represent a specific myth. Except for... Except for what? Well, this group here seems to have disappeared. He's right. All the connections are still here, but the icons are missing. Maybe the program's corrupted. Or maybe the myth isn't there anymore. 
What do you mean it's lost? Maybe it's dead. The trail of missing icons seems to follow some kind of path through the myth world, connection to connection. Hold on, that's just what Dad told us the Gorgo Stone was doing. I see where you're going. I'm wondering if this trail of missing icons represents where the Gorgo Stone has been. Would it make you think just because the stone visited there that the myth dies? If the stone still holds most of Gorgas's power, it could be acting like a poison or a, an infection. Exactly. And if we want to lay our hands on the stone, it might be best to figure out the pattern of the jumps. And we can be there before it arrives. Yeah. What's that one? You want to highlight it? Javier. One of my old favorites. Never heard of it. Well, nobody's quite sure about the culture that spawned it, but they predated the Egyptians. A world of warrior gods ruled by two feuding brothers, whose constant battle balanced the world. Click it again. Let's see something in the museum that corresponds to this myth. That's strange. This is one thing. It's a goblet. Well, you may as well bring it up. Okay, so how does a goblet connect to the missing icons? Maybe it's the stone's next jump. Or it's already there. Or it's where Dad is. I'm going in. Alex, wait! Oh boy. Alex, what is this place? I don't know. Why am I wearing my clothes from home? This never happened before. I mean, he knows something. Excuse me. I don't know you. At least I don't think I know you. What is this place? It's my kingdom. Or what's left of it. Of the air. Of you. Of you, that's right. That's what it was called. What do you mean it was called? Look around you. There's nothing left. Where are the skies? Where are the warbirds flying in them? And the castle? It's all disappearing. Even from my memories. What happened here? I don't know. Was it a stone? I think there was a stone. Was it about this big? With the spearhead through it? Maybe. I tried to write everything down, but by then it was all going wrong. What exactly went wrong here? I killed him. I killed my brother. That wasn't supposed to happen. The myth, everything we were began to unravel right in front of my eyes. You know, I, I think it was the stone that destroyed your world. How could a stone destroy my world? I am a god. I think I am a god. It's coming faster now. Alex, he's right. You've got to get out of there. The myth is self-destructing around you. Look, there's the wine goblet by the throne on the table. We don't even know if this is the goblet I touched. Oh, we have to take that chance. You have to get out of there. Oh my god, Cleo, do you see it? It's the stone, it's right over there. Look, you don't have time. Get out of there right now. What if the goblet is next? Uh, look, I, I, I gotta go. Unbelievable. A myth disappearing before our eyes. Poor guy. And he was losing everything. Didn't even remember who he was anymore. 
Hey, is it true he fought the same battle with his brother 100,000 times? I, I don't remember. I've forgotten the myth altogether. Guys, think about this for a sec. I mean, Avia doesn't affect us one way or another, but there are other myths that whole cultures and philosophies are based upon. I mean, what happens to the world if the Gorgo Stone destroys them? Well, what are we going to do? I mean, wait for an icon to start flickering and then jump in? Well, I'm afraid that's not going to work. As you've already seen, the stone is ready to move on. Exactly, and these myths are falling apart at the seams. Maybe there is no way out. I don't want to be in there if that happens. So what are you suggesting? There must be a pattern in the trail. And patterns should reduce to mathematics. And that's where we're on my turf. <laughs> Cleo, I'm making a sandwich. You want one? Cleo, you gotta eat something. Man, I'm sounding like mom. Hey! Cleo! Hey, what's up? I've been calling you. Compile stone tracker. I've plotted the trajectory of the stone with the other myths and calculated the vector for it. Hopefully the program will predict where the Gorgo stone will land next. It's done compiling. Track stone and display. Now we see what artifacts are related to it. Find artifacts. Hey, a stone with a spear through it. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Well, it can't be the Gorgo stone. It's not the right shape. Yeah, but it's a little bit of a coincidence that your program would lead us to it. It's true. This is where the program predicts where the Gorgo stone will land next. This is the best we've ever had to go on. Alex, this could be the one. I'm going in. Yo, Cleo, we don't even know what this Bladawith myth is about. You can't just walk in there. Well, see, that's why I don't have a problem. At least in there, I'm walking. Cleo! Cleo! Bladawith to the Grand Chamber. Hey, hold it. You don't think I did this? Not alone, but did it just the same. Take her away! Alex, help me out here. Okay, the stone in the Sabre Museum is called the Stone of Justice. It was willed from the collector Lord Ramsay Dwart in 1963. It's believed to be of Celtic origin. There's not much here, Cleo. Oh, it has nothing to do with the Gorgo Stone after all? And that's what I'm trying to find out. Keep your eyes open. Well, if, if Dad and Max have this on their myth chart, then there must be something more on it. Look, I'm not giving up, okay? Just hold on. Deliver the Lady Blood Hour. Like that guy wants a second helping. What's going on? 
All accused of crimes in Lord Hugh's kingdom are offered a hearing, lady. Even his own killers. I didn't kill anybody. We have the lady's plea. It is the intention of this inquiry to prove that the Lady Bladawith conspired with her lover, Lord Garonwe of Pentlin, to murder her husband, our good king, Hugh Lau Giffis. Oh man, this is whacked, Chloe. I think you've been put into the wrong side of a Law and Order episode. Both of the conspirators plead innocence. This court will now put those pleas to the test. We will separate lies from the truth and meet out a quick and fierce punishment to the guilty parties. Make no mistake, lady. If we find you guilty, you will join your good husband in death. Bronway of Pentland, in preparation for this inquiry, you are entitled to a representative. I don't need anybody to speak for me. I did not do anything. The Lady Bladaworth will, of course, be provided with a man to speak for her cause. You better take the help, Chloe, at least until we can figure out what's going on. Fine. I will. Where is the Lady Bladaworth's representative? Here I am, my lord. Don't worry about a thing. I'll get you off. You will now have time to prepare your defense before the trial begins. I advise you to use it well. Your lives depend on it. That's better. My name is Bryn, lady. We have some work to do if we're going to win this thing. Why don't you start by telling me exactly what happened? Well, that's the problem. I don't know what happened. I can't remember anything. Well, I suppose we could try that defense, but you must realize the wizards will automatically assume that you are lying. The wizards? Math and Gwydion, the judges. Oh. You really don't remember, do you? My life before I saw the king on the floor is a blank. I don't know who I am or who this Liu is or anything. You know, I've heard of this kind of thing before. Someone shocked by a loved one's death. I guess I'd really have my work cut out for me. Why should I start? Well, you could start by telling me who I am, who my parents are. Good lady, you have no parents. They're dead? I really am going to have to start from the beginning, aren't I? Our king, Lord Flu, was blessed on the day of his birth by Math and Quidian. Flu would be invincible in battle, unable to be killed. But I saw him die. Are you going to let me tell this? Now, this blessing made him the greatest king in all of Wales. But there was a price for Flu's invincibility. Flu would never be allowed to marry a mortal woman. I don't understand. Seeing their king so unhappy and alone, the wizards decided to break the rules. And they created a wife for Flu from nine flowers from the fields. And they made this woman the most beautiful woman the world had ever seen. Madawas, I, I mean, me. <clears throat> You're a flower girl? <laughs> That's messed up. With your allergies, you should be sneezing by now. But that doesn't explain how Lou died. Well, one of the things about invincibility spells is that there always has to be a flaw. It's like a law of magic. His Achilles heel. Could be heel, could be anything, really. That's just like what Thor told me. Remember, Baldur couldn't be killed by anything but a mistletoe. Well, what was his weakness? Ah, well, Math was smart when he worked out Clue's blessing. He designed in a flaw that was a situation that would never occur. Clue could only be vulnerable if he was standing with one foot in a cauldron and the other on a deer. Okay, that's much cooler than a mistletoe. And the weapon used to kill him had to be forged on a holy day when the forging of weapons was forbidden. It was all there. The cauldron, the deer skin, the spear. You know, these guys never learn. You make a loophole, and somebody finds it. But why would he let that happen? The wizard Gwydion 
is planning to prove it was all your doing, lady. Oh. And what about the other one? The meth. I see some hope. He's the one who did most of the work in making you. He's a friend. Don't worry. Give me some time to work out a defense. Bryn. Do you think I killed him? Lady Blood Darworth. Look at yourself. Do you think someone as beautiful as you could have killed someone? Just relax. Leave it to me. What are you doing? Looking for wrinkles? This is the same person who's going on to me for like an hour about how vain I was. They're saying this woman might have killed someone. All I have to go on is this face. Well, that's what we're trying to find out. Okay, you gotta help me out here. I've looked through every single Celtic myth on Dad's bookshelf. I have Bress, Bridget, Bronwyn, Bowen, Bonva, Bellinus, Borvo, but no Bloodowith. Well, maybe she's not the main character in the myth system. Maybe the main stories are about the king or, or the wizards, Math and Gwydion. For what it's worth, we know I'm in Wales. It's a good starting point. Yeah. Hey, do you think this lawyer knows what he's doing? Well, let's just hope he can buy me enough time so I can find the Gorgo Stone and get out of here in one piece. I don't know, Alex. This one feels different. You know, all the other ones we've been, they've, they've had a past, you know, a story to them, and you can feel that when you're inside them. But this one, she's just kind of empty. Yeah, well, you know, if you've got to be empty, that's a fine-looking shell to be wrapped up in. Well, I'm glad you're taking this so seriously. You're just like all the other men. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's gotten into you? <sighs> I'm sorry. It's just getting to me the way these guys are treating me and looking at me. I guess I'm just getting a feel for what it's like to be the most beautiful woman on earth. I don't know if I like the taste. All right. This inquiry is begun. Okay, look, I, I still got more stuff to find out. Uh, do you think you can keep this trial going until I get some more stuff? Well, I don't have much choice, do I? Okay. We will now hear the testimony of the accused. Lord Wizards. I ask that Lady Bloodaworth be allowed to speak last. The shock of her husband's death has clouded her memories, and it's my hope that other testimony will restore them. Very well, Bryn. The lady shall speak last. We will now hear the sworn testimony of Garonwe of Pentling. Garonwe, what do you have to say in your defense? There's not much to tell. Just the simple truth of what happened. It was like any other day. I was making my way to the king's chambers. Receive its approval on some land leases. As I arrived in the upper corridor, suddenly I heard shouts. And a man's scream. As I arrived at the king's chamber, there were two men. They were fully hooded. They stepped out of the chamber. They were armed. When they saw me, they turned to him and ran. I didn't know whether to give a chase or to check on the king. I checked on the king. Lord Lou was already dead on the floor. And Lady Bloodworth, as if she too was murdered. I looked on for a brief moment and turned to give chase to the assassins. I was in the process of searching the north wing when the guards took me and held me for the killing. So, what's it to be? Am I to be punished for trying to capture the king's murderers? I remember that much. He was standing in the doorway watching, then he turned and ran. He's telling the truth. There might be another opinion on that, lady.
thought you were dead. Make no mistake, lady, your treachery was successful. The wizards have given me just enough life to see justice done. Look, you don't understand. I understand only too well, Badawath. I loved you. I trusted you with my very life. And this is how you repaid me. Lord Hugh, tell the assembly what happened as you remember it. I had a full day of business to attend to, but Ladawith was in a playful mood. She suggested we take breakfast in our chamber. You are beautiful, like a statue of a goddess. I think a man like you would need something more challenging than a statue of you. All I need is you. You're my rarest of flowers, my obsession. So which is it, Hugh? Am I a statue, a flower? Oh, an obsession. And you're all of them, and a thousand other things. And all of them mine. Ah, so now we get to it, husband. What? I'm just one of your things. I love you. But I'm just a thing, made by your wizards to keep you company. What a way to talk. What a way to treat a man who'd gladly die for you. Easy for you to say, a man who can't be killed. Oh, I can't be killed. And you know the way. What do you want me to do? Prove it to you? Yes. What? Prove it to me. Make yourself so vulnerable that I can take your life away if I wanted to. Very well. There. A cauldron. But it's a bathtub. No, for today it's a cauldron. Ah, blast. I was sure we had a deer here somewhere. Ah, but we do, my lord. A gift for you. It's already given its life to someone. <laughs> what? Don't tell me an invincible warrior is afraid of a rug. <laughs> your proof, my lady. My life is in your hands. It is indeed, my lord. Blood demands blood. I demand justice. Alex, I could really use some help here. I hear you. Okay, I found something in this book of Welsh myths called Mabinogion. Uh, it mentions one of the wizards, Math. Finally a name that sounds like it's spelt. Well, what does it say? I don't know, I don't know. You gotta give me a second. This thing's huge. I knew I should have bought you that speed reading course for Christmas. Lady Badawith. Feigning madness by talking to the air will not help your cause. We are ready to pass our judgment. Lord Wizard, you promised the lady a chance to speak to these charges. Are you suggesting our king cannot identify his own killers? Uh, no. But I will suggest that his memory might not paint a complete picture of the incident. And be careful that you don't put yourself in a position to be judged, advocate. No. Let him speak. If I were to be proved wrong, I would sleep in peace, knowing I never lost the love of my lady. Tell us a story, Bryn. Save Bladaoth's life. I do not plan to call our king a liar. But there might be another side to the story. One that would paint Lady Bladaoth as much a victim as her husband. I love you. And I was made to love you, my lord. You can ask anything of me. I'd gladly die for you. Oh, don't be silly. You could never be killed. Mm, I can. I can. And you know the way. Let me prove it to you. Oh, there's no need to, my lord. Oh, I want to. I want to. You could steal my life away if you wanted to. Suppose, lords, that the light tone of the lover's conversation was not hiding evil intent on the lady's part. Rather that her coy drawing out of Lord Lou's declarations of love was simply the actions of an insecure woman, truly unsure of her place in his heart. There, a cauldron. It's a bathtub. For today, it's a cauldron. At last, I was sure we had a deer here somewhere. You do, my lord. A gift for you. It's already given its life to someone. Her gift was just what she told him it was. A heartfelt offering of her love for him. Lady Bladawas did not force her husband to expose himself to the assassin's spear. 
Even Lord Flew's testimony admits that. It was he who wanted to prove something. Your proof, my lady. My life is in your hands. It is indeed, my lord. And now, finally, we come to the crime. If Lady Bladaworth was the manipulative, scheming murderer that you paint her, would she not have created some intricate fiction with which to hide her unspeakable crime? But all she offers is that she can't remember. I like this guy. He's like a regular Perry Mason. I submit to you that Lady Bladaworth's heart was true. No, no! It may be that the masked men that Unway described were the killers. And that he did attempt to give chase and bring these killers to justice. Lord Flew, the woman you see before you has lost a husband, a lover, and her memories. Your suffering has passed, but she continues to be the victim of this crime. Her suffering compounded by being falsely accused of the very same crime that has been her ruin! Lord Wizards, I beg you not to find Lady Bladaworth guilty of this horrible crime, but instead to redouble your efforts to find the real killers and to bring them to justice. Only then will all the victims of this crime have satisfaction. Your words are moving, Bryn, and they hang together as a possible truth. Our feelings for our protege are as strong as anyone's in this land. We will be sure to consider what you have said in our judgment. But be assured, our final judgment will be based on fact, not on weakness and emotion. Bladawa and Garanwe, prepare yourselves for our judgment. This may be your last hour on Earth. Okay, Cleo, I've got it. Uh, Gwydion, Math, and Ludwig. So Lord Gwydion and I have come to our decision. Oh my god, Cleo, you gotta get out of there now! On due deliberation, we find the Lady Bladawas and Garonwe of Penzlin not guilty of the crime of murder due to insufficient evidence. Bladawas is guilty! Bladawas, Lord Free. Okay, we got a problem here. It disappeared. What? I don't know, I was reading the myth and suddenly it changed. This new version says that she was innocent and her husband rested peacefully. We corrupted the myth. We didn't do anything. I think your program was right. The stone's gotta be in there. Alex, the main thing that changed was me being found innocent. So? So who's responsible for that? My lawyer, Brent. Was he in the original version you read? I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. But he has a big deal to do with this version, though. Well, if he's the one who changed it, maybe he had a motive for doing it. Cleo. He's Gorgos. That's what I'm going to find out, and I need to get this myth back on track. What are you going to do? I remember something about the murder. I want to make a statement. Oh, that's not a very good idea. Why don't you just relax? Sweet lady, just relax and enjoy your freedom. I can't. I need to tell the truth. Well, the truth is overrated, lady. I'm not going to let you get away with this, Gorgos. You know, in another world, I think I could quite enjoy being a lawyer. I think I'm quite suited to it. Don't you? What do you want? I want a stone. You know that. Well, it's not here. So why don't you move on and haunt somebody else's myth? That's it. Move on. You're not going to worry about what happens in the other myths. You're not going to ask me where your father is. You're not going to try to wheedle me for a few minutes alone with him. Would you actually do it? <laughs> Probably not. Don't change the subject. There's something different in your attitude. If you want me gone, must be something here you don't want me to find. 
You've discovered a way to locate the stone, haven't you? If I did, I'd have it already, wouldn't I? Help me. Help me and I can help you. Help me find my stone. You do have an understanding of the way the stone moves, don't you? Tell me. Tell me where it is. Second thoughts? Never mind. That's what I want. Alex, the myth is starting to disappear. I know. The icon's starting to fade out. You don't have much time left. We can't let Gorgos get the stone. Maybe there's another way. Dad said if you set the myth right, it'll cause the stone to move. We'll lose the stone. Gideon and Math, I have a confession to make. But first, I need my trusted advisor by my side. My well, lady, you don't need me anymore. My work is done here. It is my right to have my chosen advocate by my side. The lady's rights are clear. Return to your place. Do this, Cleo. I'm warning you. I am responsible for the murder of my husband. Me and my lover, Garanwi. No! Man, I hope you know what you're doing. So do I. This is wrong. Nadawa said herself, her mind's been empty. She, she doesn't know what she's saying. I know exactly what I'm saying. Nadawa, I know you wouldn't have done this. How do you know that? Have you ever listened to me? Do you even know who I really am? Do you care? And you wizards. For you, I was like making a meal. Anger the wizards. Nice touch. I can still save you from this, Cleo. Just say your emotions run out of control. Stop while you're ahead. Add the right ingredients and serve with a pleasing presentation. You took pride in your work, but you didn't imagine that I could become anything more than what you made me. You were the only woman for me. I was the only woman you could have, you mean. I loved you. You loved what I looked like. It didn't matter what I was really like. Just that I was beautiful enough to sit on the throne beside you. I'm sorry, you. Even a woman of flowers needs to be thought of as a woman. The Lady Bladaworth has admitted her guilt and that of her lover, Garon Hui, a Penclin. We have no choice but to see justice delivered with swiftness and finality. No! We understand your feelings for the Lady Bladaworth, good Bryn, but the court's decision is final. My lords, I must take my leave. I cannot bear to watch. I'm going to enjoy what happens next, girl. Have fun. Okay, you saved the myth. Now save yourself. Trust me, that's my next priority. You crafted a potent weapon, Garanwe. I'll enjoy returning it to you. Bring Garanwe to meet his justice. My lord, show me mercy. Like you showed me. All I ask is that you give me a chance. Let me hold something in front of my chest before you throw. Hold what you will, Garanwi. I promise you it won't make any difference. Whenever you're ready, my lord. Cleo, the stone that Garanwi used to protect himself, it's the same stone that you touched to get into the myth. Bring the Lady Bladaus forward. Whatever you do, you have to find a way to touch it. 
Lords, I request permission to pay my last respects to Gronwy. Justice has been delayed long enough, lady. Well, can I at least hold the same stone in front of myself? Your punishment will not be as simple as that of your lover, Bladawis. For your faithlessness, you will suffer a much more severe fate. For your crime against your good husband, you shall be changed to the form of an owl. Forever shall you haunt the nights in loneliness and sorrow, shunned by both bird and man. No. Alex, what should I do? I, I don't know. Cleo. Cleo. You okay? Come here. Cleo. Can you hear me? Alex, I felt it. The wings, the beak. I was flying. I know. It's okay, you're home now. Never felt anything like it before. No kidding. I was losing who I was. Every second, my thoughts became more bird's thoughts. I knew I had to touch the stone, but I couldn't keep my focus. By the time my wingtip touched it, all I could think about was getting into the night air and hunting. Yeah. All I could think about was how I was going to tell Mom that we had to take turns lining your birdcage. <laughs> I feel so bad. I got so close to the Gorgo stone, but... Didn't get it. No, it's okay. You stopped Gorgos from getting it, and that's what's important. Now that we know how this stone moves, we'll have a better way of tracking it next time. Let me get this straight. Gorgos was there, thank you. And he was your lawyer. Yeah, he was pretty good, too. Almost got her off. Look, the important thing is, is that we know that the stone was there, and Gorgos almost got his hands on it. Well, that would have been an end to everything. I say we narrowly missed a major catastrophe. Yeah, and those wizards turning Cleo into an owl was just a minor hassle. Being a bird would have been minor. If Gorgos and the stone's energy had united to fully corrupt that myth, your sister would have wound up like that poor god you met. The ultimate white out. What are the chances of the dead myths coming back if we get our hands on the Gorgos stone? Well, Cleo, what's gone is gone. Meanwhile, you prove the usefulness of that tracking program. It's a valuable tool in finding your father. All it does is point us to the right myth. I mean, we still have to find the stone. And I did a great job at that. Uh, stop beating yourself up over this. You aren't going to find it any sooner. Maybe I could recalibrate the program and determine a more precise vector inside the myth. Or we could monitor the energy of the stone and I could rig some sort of... Yeah, those are really good ideas, Chloe, but you wouldn't have been able to do any of them as split out with. Not with looking at yourself in the mirror the whole time. The way I remember it, you were the one more interested in Willa Dowitz look than I was. <sighs> I was not. Whatever. Although, I must admit, it was kind of interesting being the most beautiful woman in the world. Although, I wouldn't change with her for anything. No, oh, yeah, right. Like, I wouldn't want a Harley Davidson sitting outside right now. No, honestly, I mean, nobody cared about Bladawith for herself. You know, it was all about what she looked like, what they wanted her to be, and what they wanted from her. Eh, uh, maybe you're right. Hello? Brittany. Hey. <laughs> yeah, no, it's me. Uh, uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, an hour? Okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I'll be, I'll be there. Okay, all right. Bye. I, uh, I gotta go. I'll catch you later, Max. Hey, Alex. Why don't you, uh, try that thing with your hair? You know, you want to look your best. No. I think now I'm gonna go with feeling beautiful on the inside. Ha, ha, ha.